Namaskar, they call me Vijay Sridhara and I am here with a weekend podcast. Why am I doing a podcast? Some of you may wonder. I am doing this because some of the people don't read much, they rather listen to while driving or just relaxing at home. So I am doing this so that the message reaches everyone. A couple of weeks back, I talked to a friend of mine who got into habits and he was complaining about life. He said, Vijay, see, I do understand your life is not a cakewalk, neither is mine. But I have a lot of expectations from my family and friends, which they are not living up to. So I get into a friction with them. I am always angry. And then my performance suffers. My relationships are suffering. My health is suffering. So tell me a way out of this. I said, listen, you are conducting your life in an inverted fashion. You have to conduct your life in a triangular fashion. The base first, the foundation first, and the peak last. He was confused. So are you, I guess. Let's draw a triangle, equilateral triangle. The base of the triangle at the bottom and the peak, the top vertex at the top. Divide it horizontally into five segments. The base segment is the largest one and the top segment is the smallest one. I have put the diagram for your reference. The base segment represents your health foundation. No matter what, your health is the most important thing. Then only you can perform something, you can do something, you can think of something very calmly, peacefully. So health is the most important thing, that is the foundation. You have to do a lot of work there. Once your health is properly established, then you can look at peak performance. Wherever you are, whatever task you undertake, you can perform to the peaks, but only when you are willing to do, when you are involved to do. So that's your peak performance. Both of these put together, you will get the third segment, which is rich experience of life. When you have rich experience of life, when you perform to the peaks, then the fourth segment, which is the responsibilities, which is which looks small to you, they can be met very easily or you can do whatever is required as a part of responsibilities. Remember, responsibility is also an activity where you can perform to the peak which in turn gives you rich experience of life. When all of these things are there, the smallest segment is expectations from your family and friends. Whether they live up to your expectations or not, that becomes immaterial because you already have a rich experience of life. If they live up to your expectations, that's an icing on cake. If they don't, then also it's fine. Now, what you're doing in your life is you're living in the reverse order. You have a lot of expectations first and the people don't live up to your expectations because they are trying to have their own rich experience in life. They are not trying to contribute to your happiness and your rich experience. They are trying to contribute to for their own happiness using their own methods. So most of the time they may not meet your expectations. Our expectations about family and friends is up to the standard of life, how it should be, the values that your family must carry. That should be the expectations. Beyond that, I don't think it is possible for anybody to live up to our expectations. So once your expectations are not met, this next segment from in a top-down approach is your responsibilities. They are large in size suddenly. And uh, you will not be able to meet the responsibilities because you don't have rich experience of life. You only have expectations which are unfulfilled or not met. So crossing the responsibilities, attending to your uh, rich experience or health becomes very, very difficult. And so you're stuck there. And then you're looking for rich experience and sweet spots. Obviously, you'll get into habits because they offer you a little sweet spot there. Now let's look at this part. You have a big car already. Now, can you run it with kerosene? He said, no. Why? Because it will break down. Okay, if you don't run the car for two years and keep it in garage, what will happen? The car won't start. Well, if your carburetor is totally dusted, it is covered with dust and dirt, what will happen? There will be a fuel efficiency problem. I said, exactly. This is the same with human body as well. Human body is organic and the car is inorganic 
That's the only difference that we have. If you don't ingest high quality food into you, your performance will be weak. If you don't ingest right amount of oxygen, your performance will be weak. If you just stay idle without any physical activity, your performance will be weak. That's how the car is and that's how the human body is. Human body is just a vehicle, an organic vehicle to do the functions. Now do understand life is all about intense activity and rich experience. How will you get it is by conducting your life from bottom up in the triangle that I have given, not from top down. Top down will always 99% of the time fail. The bottom up approach will always succeed. So look at creating intense experience involving an intense action. That's how you create for yourself. Same with everybody. So this is the lesson we need to learn. Conduct your life in a bottom up fashion of the triangle, not in the top down fashion. Expectation should be a minor segment in your life, not the major segment. Major segment should be your action, your experience. Minor segment should be an expectation. It may or may not be there, but still your life should be, your life should be rich in experience. That's all I had to say. Thank you so much.